All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday night. It is the Earth Master out here about 9.03 p.m. California time, 12-12, 2024. Latest activity has a number of quakes out here coming into the area of the West Coast. Uh, literally within minutes of each other, things starting to stir back up out here with a uh, couple threes out there in Nevada and a more recent 3.7 here across the Petrolia area in Northern California. Of course, this is where that seven pointer struck here a couple days, a few days ago. And also the uh, 5.8 out there in Nevada. Things starting to light up out here though. looks like things are uh, getting ready to um, possibly see some larger scale activity. Uh, I know these are a distance apart here, but uh, you know, and I don't know if you'll actually catch a uh, geologist stating that this is actually related. Um, I, on the other hand, firmly believe that this is uh, related, but a lot of the big names out there, oh, they're not related at all. They're on a different fault system. Obviously, they are, but it's related to the overall pressure out here against the North American and the Pacific Plate. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the earthquake activity. couple threes coming in here. In the last hour, things starting to ramp back up out here across Nevada. Uh, got about 25 earthquakes today. Total tally, 285 earthquakes there since that 5.8 struck a couple days ago. Now if we look at the area across Northern California here, kind of hard to find, uh, kind of hard to hide a 3.7, right? That shows up quite nicely there on the Petrolia station. Also the Dinsmore station there, which is a little bit further inland away from the Petrolia area. Uh, so yeah, we can't really hide those earthquakes. Uh, I've said it uh, throughout the last few updates here that they're, um, you know, not reporting all the earthquakes, and they're still not. They're, they're not showing any ones, and I'm sure there's a lot of ones out there that should have been reported, and they're going unreported. Uh, 3.7. Let's see what we got here. Automatic status from this earthquake. That's pretty decent magnitude showing up there on that, uh, on that graph. Let's go ahead and check uh, what we got for trimmer out here tonight. Cascadia trimmer, which is going to be right about here, which shows us continued trimmer. 219 epicenters of trimmer here across the Northern California area. Now, this is downstream, down into the Cascadia subduction zone, down below the locked area. The locked area sits roughly. Uh, offshore here, a little section that dips down here into the uh, area. And of course, that obviously extends all the way up to northern uh, areas here around the Vancouver Island Range and Pass. Uh, but it all begins down here across the southern end here of the plate boundary, triple point boundary to be exact. A couple different swarming areas down here throughout the day today. Uh, 219 epicenters of trimmer. Uh, that brings our total tally here for the week. Somewhat elevated here. It looks like 1,504 epicenters of trimmer confined to the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. And, uh, of course, you know, all this elevated activity out here recently as well. Uh, for sure sign of uh, some, some plate movement. Plate uh, grinding, so to speak, out here. A lot of pressurization going on out here across the California region. Uh, so it looks like we are starting to move here in the last hour. So just, you know, be on guard. When things kick up, uh, they tend to kick up out here. Earlier today, trying to think here, there there was a few earthquakes throughout the day today, uh, but mainly light. Uh, looks like uh, that is changing at this moment here on this Thursday evening. Things starting to switch back over to some moderate activity. Uh, through the Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet. Bay Area of Northern California, pretty quiet. Southern California, uh, well, still pretty quiet down there in terms of any larger movement. Got one earthquake here in the Los Angeles area, 1.6 outside of Inglewood area. Looks like that's on the Newport Inglewood Rose Canyon Fault. Very hazardous fault system there for the uh, greater Los Angeles area. Aside from that, the uh, plate boundary down there, the San Andreas Fault sleeps for now. Uh, nothing major going on there across the Yellowstone area. Uh, let's double check that here. Uh, as far as earthquake activity goes, uh, 
There is a little earthquake here. It looks like in the last couple hours. That looks like some movement. It uh, uh, could be over there across the western area of the park. Let me bring up that map again. Not 1.5. That was from this morning. So 2.6, 4 o'clock this morning here. Some movement up north. Uh, you know, I've been noticing a handful of earthquakes out there that uh, have been popping up on the seismograph station, but nothing being reported around the area. Really wasn't any larger quake activity out here across the globe for now. But uh, the reading I'm talking about is going to be here. Showed up quite nicely in the last couple hours there across the western area of the uh, Yellowstone region. So I, I don't know. A little odd, but nothing being reported there on the uh, USGS map. And the rest of the model out there, as you can see, uh, a handful of movement over the last 24 hours here. A lot of activity down across the Tonga region and the Vanuatu area. Uh, looks like things may be shifting back up north here across the northern area of the Pacific Plate. Uh, some movement here across Japan area. Nothing big for now. Let's see what we got for Alaska up here. A little separate swarming going on here across this area of the Aleutian Trench. 4.2 earlier this morning. A couple other smaller quakes in that uh, vicinity. Um, still keep an eye out here across the west coast here, folks. I just think that uh, things are coming and going. There's a little quiet period, and then things start to ramp up again. We've noticed that. Uh, technically, you know, probably last four or five months here, things coming and going in terms of elevated activity. Uh, for the Middle America Trench, South America area, all fours and threes, really nothing big going on down there for now. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. A couple of smaller earthquakes here off the coast of, uh, looks like that's going to be Morocco area. Showing up there on the Earthquake 3D Globe. Big Island of Hawaii, a couple smaller quakes out there. Really nothing major going on. A uh, quick glance at the space weather activity, and then we'll double check the uh, earthquake map. A couple of sea flares here in the last couple hours. Really nothing big going on. There is a number of sunspots out here, though, but uh, nothing of any abnormal uh, activity. Our flare threat is pretty quiet. Only a 5% chance for X flare. M flare at 50. C flare around 99% chance or so. And, uh, Really not a whole lot of change there. Uh, there was an update, it looks like, from the SDO Solar Dynamics Observatory. If you want to check it out, they have it listed up here on their page. Uh, but it appears like a lot of their past data uh, was affected as well, as far as their, the data servers. Uh, roughly 20% of the database servers and data servers were damaged. Several large data portions there um, that have you know stored data of solar information were damaged. I mean, where's the fail-safe, you know, procedure here into preventing something like that? It's pretty crazy that that would actually happen. But uh, yeah, let me go back here to the space weather activity. Uh, pretty quiet in terms of the auroras. Not a whole lot going on there for now. Uh, weather outlook. We got uh, one system here scooting on out of the west coast. Got another one behind that. A little bit stronger here. Going to bring a couple inches of rainfall. Look at those impressive rainfall rates there across. You got it. My neck of the woods here. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Probably a couple inches of rain from that uh, storm system here. Uh, Friday and Saturday. Bring it on. After that, a little break and then another system behind that. But uh, we'll see what happens as we head towards the Christmas time period. Uh, I'm not seeing anything major happening across the country, but uh, that's a little ways out. We'll have to check back on it as we get closer to that time period. All right, folks, uh, just be on guard. Stay safe out there. Literally a couple minute difference between these two quakes here in the last hour. Looks like Petrolia has gone offline. Um, I don't have an, a Nevada station up there. I probably should add one of those, but uh, I'll see if I can find one. 
But for now, um, hope everyone has a good night. We will catch you guys back out here a little bit later. Uh, stay safe and have a good evening. <laughs>